We have been very blessed to have such a smart, caring, interesting young man. They've been there for me since I was young and always by my side. In fifth through eighth grade, he started playing basketball on the school team. In high school, he wanted to try something different, so he tried track. <laughs> he had one of the more unorthodox hurdling styles. I wouldn't trade it for the world, even though I fell every time. So we never really had any issues. The doctor had just said, since he's an athlete, Beaumont has this great program. I can say personally, I was not enthused to go. I don't need that. You know, typical teenage answer. But my mom always is thinking ahead. You really should check it out. It's free. Go have him have the checks. And she decided to take me against, against my begging and pleading not to go. There's a tremendous difference between a regular sports physical and a student heart check. They take your blood pressure to make sure you're within a healthy range. They teach you a little bit about CPR. They run an EKG of your heart, and then they run an echocardiogram. Both those tests are just to make sure that you don't have the variety of hidden diseases that you may not know are there. It was basically going along fine. It was really actually kind of quick. All of a sudden, somebody came out. One of the doctors came over to me, and they asked me if I brought a parent with me. And that's when the initial reaction that something may be wrong hit me. She's calling me and telling me, uh, hey, Nick's got a, you know, he's got something going on with his heart. They told us that I had the, I had a disease called Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. My heart could speed up rapidly and get into a dangerous area. It was hard to process it. It was hard to, to, to discuss it without trying to become too panicked. I'm a worrier, like all parents, I think, are. It was a pretty emotional day. When we went to the follow-up, he had a stress test and um, some further EKGs on echoes. The stress test uh, we did concluded that I did need, in fact, a procedure called an ablation. They also said that the surgery really had very little recovery day. He'd be back up and running three days, which seems crazy. So after a couple hours, I wake up and I'm all good. It was Christmas, so I wanted to get back out there. And I can say within two weeks, I was back snowboarding. One of the things I think that happened, um, he got more interested in something in the medical field. And I think now has a huge passion for cardiology and working with kids. It's those experiences where you can, where something touches you personally and it, it affects your, the rest of your life. The heart check, I wouldn't be who I am today without it. He's done volunteering at the hospital. He was very involved in the school's HOSA group, which is a health occupation kind of group. Being able to repay that one day, being a pediatric cardiologist and check on kids' hearts who may not know they have these diseases, is a wonderful thing. Whatever your heart wants to take and do, just, you know, explore it. If you find something else on the way, explore that too. I know he's gonna do something amazing. That kid is going to change the world. <sighs> there it goes. <laughs> <laughs>